it's Vicky and Liz. Today is gonna to be a little different video for everyone. Um, if you're new to the sh to the channel, my name is Vicky, and I've had MS for 16 years. This is my really good friend and sister since fifth grade. I met her in fifth grade, and <laughs> I love her so much. And I want to thank everyone that has been there for me since I can remember since I was born. Um, so thank you guys, but we're having wine night today and it's for my birthday. Y'all know it's my birthday month, October, <laughs> but, um, so we're celebrating, um, but I just want to make a quick video, um, to see her perspective on how MS has affected me. And I want to thank her so much for being really big part of my support group, a huge part of my support group. And I hope everyone has someone in their corner that is as great. And she knows me better than I know myself sometimes. So I I love having that. Um, so if you don't have someone like that, please try to find somebody. <laughs> um, if not, reach out to me. Let me know. <laughs> but either way, um, this is Liz. And Hi, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we met each other when we were in fifth grade. And uh, ever since then, we've just been together. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> But I just wanted to ask you, what do you think has impacted me the most in this journey since I was 19? Ooh, the most? Mm -hmm. Jokingly, not jokingly, your attitude. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I had a horrible attitude, by the way. <laughs> I think that that was one of those things that you had to learn to deal with during the whole process and really differentiate, like, how do you deal with it? and still be positive and not have a crappy attitude at the same time with it. By oh, the way, man. I still struggle with that. Y'all know that because uh, with my son, I butt heads, but I try. <laughs> I think that was one of the hardest things because it was so up and so down and trying to stay so positive at the same time, but yet being so upset about what's really going on. And uh, I think trying to be strong for everybody else and not even thinking about yourself. Yeah. That was, uh, that was really hard, you know? Um, and just for me, not that you asked me, but for me, I was like dealing with the loss. Like if I ever had to lose you and then, you know, yeah. emotional breakdowns are ready to happen. <laughs> so yes, I think to me it, it was that for you, even if you might have not seen it that way. It definitely was your attitude and the perspective that you put on MS for it. What do you think was my biggest growth from this experience? Oh. Where or when? Because, oh. So, what do you think is the biggest thing that I've gotten out of this? As, other than oh, my man, attitude, I think, I think, pictures. I think that, in general, it was just, where can you improve in every aspect of your life? How do I keep going without making this, or letting this detour you from anything that you got going on? From, you know, just writing daily. Mm -hmm. Uh... To, oh my God, your games, your memorization <laughs> things, to building brain function, to, you know, a lot of people don't think about it, but it, it definitely is a big deal when dealing with something yeah. like this. You know, you yeah. got to keep your mind going. And I'm always so amazed on how much you're reading and, you know, because who, who read, right? Yeah. <laughs> right. Especially me. I'm the right. least one that ever read anything, guys. So I, I. Before in the past, but. I do think that it really made you a stronger individual in the sense of, what else can I do? Like, does my hustle stop now or does it continue? Like, you didn't let that stop you from hustling to get to where you're going. And I say hustle in, like, the most legal way ever, right? <laughs> like, cool. You know, you start writing and you're like, does this writing lead me to a book? Does reading lead me to become smarter? Does, you know, these word games help my life longevity of your life? And not only in the aspects of your life, but then of Christopher, of staying so active and you know it kind of pushes you to be more active with your kids because you might know you don't know if you have tomorrow so why not live for today right and i ain't never met somebody who took their kid that much to certain places <laughs> but you're a good mom you're a great mom sometimes i feel like a bad mom because i'm like uh, chris you need to help me out <laughs> and all kinds of stuff so but yeah we we try to manage with that but yeah but thank you very much for being there for me always and always being this ear that I need. Sometimes I need like a counselor. Guys, I, I've told you guys that I don't have a counselor yet or a psychiatrist. I do need one, but this is my 
this is my counselor. This this is one of them. I have several. <laughs> uh, and you guys know who you are uh, if you watch these videos. I know some of you do, but um, I have I have some counselors. They're they're not certified, but hey, they work for me, and I love them because they know me. And sometimes they have to refrain from what they're going to say to me because, and I feel that you do that too because you're like, okay, this is not how you're gonna take it in. But either way, sometimes she just lets me have it. Like, hey, this is your reality. This, this is, you didn't do the right thing this time. And sometimes I need that. I need that, you know, to bring me to humility, to be humble, like MS did, like MS brought me to that. And so her and my husband, my mom, and all of them, they're great at doing that for me. Hi, babe. <laughs> and so um, I, I really appreciate that about them. And she's not my only support group, but she's one of my main ones. And I really love her. Like I said, she sometimes in my bad days, she knows me better than I know myself. And there's been proven facts where there's times where I'm like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what I'm doing. Just be quiet and listen. And she's like, okay, go for it. So she's just my ear that I need sometimes. And I, I feel that everyone needs that at times. So is there anything you want to add? No, I'm just glad that you could do the same for me because <laughs> if it's not you, it's me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. it works out. But you know, we love you so much. Yeah, oh my gosh. Okay. And we don't get to see each other, so definitely no, see the people don't. more often because yeah. this is once of six months, every six months. But yeah. what can you do? Yeah, we try to work with it. But love y'all. Thank you guys for tuning in. Just wanted to give y'all a little piece of my support group. And I hope everyone has someone to support you guys. Um, in every deepest, darkest, happiest moment, you know, we cry, we laugh together. You know, it's been ongoing. We were, what, 11 years old when we met each other? 10. 10? Okay, 10 years old when we met each other. Y'all know I lose track of time. You're, you're the only one that takes me in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's another literally, story. Literally, literally, literally. You're the only one that's in the end. <laughs> but, but yes. Okay. Love y'all. Have a good night. Goodbye. And cheers. <laughs>